because every time that somebody goes and vandalizes the site, we have to send out our engineers, we have to send out our technicians, and for that time being, um, it, uh, it affects service delivery of those who are making use of that specific site. Uh, then we have battery theft. It has become, uh, it used to be almost a monthly occurrence, now it is almost a weekly occurrence. Every time we have batteries being stolen. Ekanjo was also quick to point out the achievements made so far on the project. For the first phase, MTC targeted 111 sites to be rolled out by the end of March 2020. Fortunately, the first phase was completed ahead of deadline, even exceeding the set target by 21 more sites. Out of these 132 sites, 122 are already on air and carrying traffic. Another milestone is the kicking off of Phase 2 at the beginning of this month and plans are to roll it out to a total of 102 sites by the end of September this year. Of these 102 sites, 87 of them will be erected in the remote areas while 15 will be in urban areas. Despite the smooth progress in the project so far, Ekanjo says they have recorded a high number of vandalism at sites which increases the cost of operations. MTC is now looking into getting a permanent solution to make sure that their sites are protected to prevent theft, which is hindering service delivery. The Billion Dollar Project was launched last year with the aim to expand MTC's network coverage and infrastructures through the rollout of more than 500 sites constructed by Namibian companies. Evelyn Paulus, NBC News, Venduk.